We are in downtown Tel Aviv. I'm so excited to hear this story. I haven't heard it yet, but I hear it's really good. Nicole, why don't you share with us how, how you came to faith in Jesus as a Jewish woman? So my mother is a Christian and I grew up uh, hearing about Jesus, going to the congregation, uh -huh. uh, but my parents didn't get along. And your um, father? Uh, my father is a Jew, but okay. he isn't a believer and he's also not uh, practicing the Judaism. Uh -huh. Yes, he is, uh, I think, more more atheist, maybe. Okay, um, atheist, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, my parents didn't get along. They divorced today and um, uh -huh. they had very complicated relationship. Yeah. And of course, it's really influenced on us, on, of course. The, yeah, on the kids. And I always heard in the congregation, God is so good, <laughs> right. God loves you, God is love, but I never felt this love. Mm. I never saw it uh, in my home uh, and it made me very confused about who is really God okay. and what he really wants from my life. So at the age of 17, I uh, drift out the faith mm -hmm. and I started to look for something that will fill my soul. Yes. I started to look for meaning and also to ask questions. Who created me? Yeah. Why am I here? Uh, what is the meaning of this life? Uh, so I started to smoke marijuana okay. uh, with my friends at school and I really enjoyed it. And I found a lot of um, fun things yeah. uh, at this. And yeah, I just... Uh, got into this crazy season in my life of five years. Uh, I um, was uh, smoking, I went to different parties, electronic parties. Um, yeah, here, let's have a seat over here. Okay. And I also started to try heavier drugs, mm. as uh, MDMA, LSD, and uh, the extreme point. Uh, so it came when I went to festival in uh, Sinai mm -hmm. in uh, Egypt, and I took their LSD. Mm. It wasn't my first time, but I had a really bad trip. Okay. Uh, but this trip didn't uh, over. Didn't go away. Didn't go away. So it wasn't yes. like you, you had a bad trip and then it went away and you felt better and just kind of kept going on. What happened? Uh, so I didn't felt better. Okay. Uh, it's like you can say I got stuck in inside of the trip. Wow. Uh, yes. And I started to lose my mind. Wow. Very slowly. But um, I started to not uh, distinguish between the reality and between the fantasy yeah. uh, in my mind. So I had a lot of panic attacks and I, I think like the main thing that I felt is that this is me against all this world. Mm. And I knew Jesus and what is very interesting about it that all this time I had this, uh, this thought, you need to go back to Jesus. Mm. Jesus can save you you will find salvation, you will find help in Jesus. Because I started to understood that something is going wrong and that I'm not getting back to my usual uh, mental state that yeah. I had before that. Uh, so I shared that with my parents and they were very worried about it. And for 10 days, they tried to help me. They took me to different doctors. Um, they tried to give me medicines, but I, I just rejected everything because yeah. I thought that everyone uh, are against me and they started to be afraid for my life. So they took me to a psychiatrist, Mahlaka Psychiatric, okay. Bet Cholim yeah. Psychiatric. Psychic ward. Yes. And um, this is was the, I think I arrived to this T-junction, mm. you know, sometimes in, in life you arrive to this T-junction. Yeah. And you understand that you have two, um, you can turn right. And I know that in the right side, there is Jesus and he really can help me and heal me. And just to give me this freedom that yeah. I looked so much uh, in other places, or I can turn left and to continue with my life as I lived. But I think I was 
uh, mentally and spiritually dead already yeah. and I knew that if I will turn left I will be dead physically right the, the Bible day. says we are dead in our trespasses yes so we're walking dead people unless we have Jesus yes yes there is no uh, some like you know like a magical point that uh, something happened uh, I was there for a month and a half in yeah. the hospital and it was like a very uh, slow um, healing process yeah uh, my mother was coming to me twice a day, praying for me. I know that a lot of people prayed for me. Yeah. Uh, in my congregation, in Korea, there is a group of people. Uh, How did it feel when people were praying for you? How did that make you feel, knowing that people were praying? Because sometimes it makes people angry. Mm. Like, like you're trying to bring me into something that you want me to be in. Mm. How did you feel about that? So, I wasn't <laughs> conscious at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't thought yeah. anything about that yeah. but each time when my mother uh, asked me to pray with her yeah. my conscience came back to me mm -hmm. because i wasn't talking i wasn't like um, wow i didn't have any connection with this reality i was inside of my head yeah. i was living inside of my head okay but when she asked me to pray with her each time i would pray with her yeah and I would start to cry uh -huh. and I asked her to hear worship songs yep. and like God just uh, break through my heart very That's like right. slowly and easily but so he took yes. your heart of stone and turned it into a heart of flesh yes wow that's amazing and so where are you now um, what are you doing now with your newfound faith Maybe so, it's not so new. Yes, so uh, I'm following Yeshua uh -huh. and I, I participate in the Masa program. Uh -huh. And in Masa, we go to India and to Peru and we meet people that they are exactly in the place that I... That you were. Wow. Yes, that I were. Wow. Yes. Full circle. Yeah. <laughs> so you share the gospel with people and give them hope that they can, in your situation, come out of yes yeah wow and it's very special for me because i i know exactly how it feels to be at this point yeah when you're looking for something everywhere and you just can't can't find it that's right and i feel that i found it yes and, yeah yes. so nicole was talking about she wept she was crying i wept for a year after i came to faith in jesus i wept for a year because he broke my heart not only for what for who he is and, and and what i had done against him but he also filled me up with his love and i finally felt i finally mm -hmm. felt god's love just like you you know so thank you so much for sharing your story thank you it really touched my heart and i hope it touched yours too and if it did like this video comment on this video share this video and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can know when new videos come out wow god bless you and may you all have peace mm -hmm. and joy and love, the love that only God can give through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. I'm excited to hear this. <laughs> yeah, it's always exciting to, to okay. tell this. Ready? Yeah, yeah.